Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allison if you're new here and today I'm sharing a little bit of a different video. I am sharing all of my Amazon organization favorites and I have broken it up into multiple categories. First category we're covering is the kitchen and I'm going to go through and pull some footage from old videos of mine where I'm actually using these products and the first thing I'm talking about is this Lazy Susan turntable. You can use this in many spots in your home, a bathroom, um, a storage closet, arts and craft supplies, anywhere really, but on our home it is underneath our kitchen sink and we've used it here for two years and even in our last apartment we use it under the sink there. It's just so great and versatile to hold all of our cleaning products, make them easily accessible and there's also different sizes available depending on how big your space is and I will have all of these products linked down below in the description bar if you're curious about anything and there are lots of other products to go over so moving on to the next one is this pot and pan organizer. This is super great because it's customizable to fit any shape of pot and pan you guys actually have. It also holds all of our lids and the only note that I have to say about this is that it can be really heavy to have all of your pots and pans so I had this on the top shelf of a cabinet and actually moved it down to the bottom just to make sure it was a little bit more secure but this has been a go-to great thing you can also split it apart in two separate dividers and you can also use this for things like baking sheets your drying racks cutting boards all of those kinds of things it's also really handy for organizing also sorry we're going to just be talking really fast in this video to fit all of these good finds in Next up is this knife organizer and this is really great if you do not have a lot of drawer space or if your drawer space is super valuable like for us it is. So I used to have a knife block but wanted that off the counter and moved all of our knives to these drawers and realized what a hot and dangerous mess it was. So insert this really affordable knife organizer. It actually has two different layers so you can stack the knives on top of each other and save a ton of space and it makes them really accessible and they're kind of protected and safe and tucked away. That way you're not accidentally reaching into a drawer and cutting your finger or anything. They all have a nice little home to go into and we have loved this. Now moving into pantry organization. I have a ton of stuff for our pantry and the number one thing I have in our pantry are these OXO pop containers. I'm linking a set of them, but honestly, we've collected ours over many, many years. They're really pricey, and so I wouldn't recommend just diving in and buying like 15 of them at once. Like, good for you if that's in your budget. It was not in our budget to like build our OXO pop container collection like that. Like, I'm on a budget. You guys know that we try to do things affordably and slowly and smartly, and that's exactly how I've slowly gathered these OXO pop containers. I got some as gifts. I got some as wedding registry presents. We got a couple here and there and then I really thought about what products I really wanted in these containers So I knew my baking supplies were going to be so much easier to use in them So we have some for flour and sugar and cocoa powder and all of those things But then also I've learned that I want my oats in there and then brown rice and just different things So I will say don't rush into buying a million of these the price of them really really adds up Instead buy a couple start small and then slowly build your collection of them over time We also have in our pantry. I don't have clips of them here, but we have a lot of the acrylic pull-out drawers and little baskets, and they're really pretty and really aesthetic, but the same thing goes with these guys. They can add up to be really expensive really fast, so take your time. Really think about what you need them for in your space, but I will say once we figured out which ones we wanted, the sizes, and what we're going to use them all for, they have been so handy at keeping our tall and skinny pantry really well organized and contained, and it's also really easy to maintain this space because when you put groceries away, everything has a home thanks to these little dividers. Now, sadly, my favorite fridge organizers are not in stock and I haven't seen them around for a while. So I found something pretty comparable that's gonna be like another collection of an egg holder and different containers, very similar to the ones that are available for our pantry that we use. But I do like having these in the fridge for very specific items. We have one in our produce drawer that we keep loose produce in. Like sometimes you get like a box of tomatoes. Those just hang out in the drawer, but then anything like a lemon or a lime goes in this little drawer and it just contains things a little bit better. We also keep a bread basket in our fridge and then I also love my egg caddy. It makes it really easy to see how much you have in stock and what you need a grocery shop for and everything has a home. It's just really nice and streamlined. And now another personal favorite of mine, I am a huge tea drinker. If you've watched this channel for 
any length of time, you know I love a good cup of tea. And so I have to have my tea bag organizer because if not, my entire house would be full of tea boxes. So this eliminates all of the clutter and all of like the size of the packaging from these tea boxes. And you can squeeze so many little tea bags. You can see here just how many I have like crammed into this thing. I fill it to the very, very top, the very max possible, but I also love a variety of flavors and it takes up way less space than all of the tea boxes would combined. Next category is bathroom organization, and this is definitely kind of a flex category. These things can be used all over our home, and my two favorite things in our bathroom, which have no drawers, are these pull-out drawers. So we have tons of storage space. They're just cabinets, though, and so there's very little built-in organization there, and so I knew that I wanted to bring in some drawers to this space, and I have loved both types of these drawers. So we have these double-decker drawers here, and then there's also a single drawer with a flat top where you can stack things on top of that and I love both of them for different reasons. The double deckers can fit so much stuff and save so much space. You get obviously twice the vertical space which is super handy for organizing and then the single drawer is perfect for wanting to stack things on top of it. I'll talk a little bit later about my makeup caddy and how I organize that but I always rest my makeup organizer on top of that single drawer because it does have that shelf so that also just saves space and uses the vertical space in there and these are another investment. I feel like I say this a lot about organizers like it literally pains me sometimes to hit purchase on Amazon like I am not a willy-nilly free shopper like add it to my cart check out left and right all the time like it pains me to spend this much money on a metal drawer to go under my bathroom sink and I don't always buy the right products I've definitely bought things and regret it but these have stood the test of time I have loved them greatly and through different passes through decluttering this space these organizers have really worked out really well and just stayed in there and that's really saying something. If you know my channel, I love to rework spaces and redo things, and these organizers have stayed in their home. The same thing goes for my makeup caddy. If you've been following for a while, I have majorly, majorly downsized my makeup collection, and it now all fits in this teeny tiny little caddy. I couldn't find this exact one anymore. I don't think they make it anymore, which is really sad for me, but I linked something that was extremely similar. It's white with the wood handle. I think the only difference is that it doesn't have these three dividers on the sides, but I I loved keeping my entire makeup collection in here. Every makeup brush, product, eyeshadow, palette, lipstick, all of it lives in here and it's so handy to just grab from underneath the sink. I would love to have a drawer in a vanity setup at some point for my makeup and like sitting down and having a getting ready area, but in this house, not having any drawers, no area to sit down and do my makeup, having something with a handle that I just reach down under the sink, grab and put on the counter every day has made getting ready in the morning so easy. So even if you have a larger makeup collection, I'm sure you do have that one drawer of like your everyday go-tos, like your tried and true, you know what's going to be a good makeup day when you reach for these items and this caddy would be the perfect way to organize all of those products. I just have managed to simplify all of my makeup down to only fit in this caddy and it does stack right on top of that single drawer with the shelf that I just mentioned. Next up is my miscellaneous category. So all of the random organizers that honestly can be used in so many places in your home, starting with these little mini acrylic dividers. I actually have two different sets of them. I'll link both of them down below. They're basically the same thing. It's just different sizes and different configurations of the plastic bins. And I have used these in so many places in our house. Here I'm showing you guys them being used in our junk drawer. We use them for organizing pens and scissors and push pins and all of that in this random little drawer. I also have them in our bathroom organizers within those like double decker drawers. I use these to even further divide it. When I had a desk set up, they were used to organize all of our pens and papers and all of that stuff. It's in our daughter's nursery. Like there are so many ways in so many places these can come in handy and be very useful for. And I love having a variety of sizes on hand at all times. I haven't used every single one that I have. So I have a little stash of them in our storage closet, but I love knowing that I can reach for them for any organization project that might come my way in the future. And these are a great staple to have for just organizing teeny tiny things that all run together, especially in like a home office setting. Next up is also a random one. It's for our dresser drawers. It's specifically for like underwear and socks. And I bought it because my undergarment drawer was a hot mess. And the only problem that I have with these is that they are so big. I don't know whose dresser drawers these were built for, but the two large organizers are too big 
temporary dresser so honestly I'm not even using half of the dividers in here the two big ones are just too big for our dresser I don't even think they fit in here but for you it may work out I am however using the smaller two dividers and they are extremely helpful and handy in organizing smaller undergarments if you know what I'm talking about I'm not going to get too nitty-gritty with all of this but these two smaller ones have been super helpful and definitely worth the price of the set of organizers on their own now this is getting pretty specific to your lifestyle um, I did just have a baby recently and one of my favorite organizers from Amazon for her room are these tiny baby hangers kind of really unnecessary but it's made it really easy to have her actual outfits separated from like her everyday onesies so those are in her closet and I love having them and they're just so darn cute this category is all over the place next up is a charging station dock whatever you want to call this thing so basically it's a more aesthetic way to organize all of your charging cables and also have like one home base for everything to go I don't know about you but in our house we like fight over the phone cables and like if someone moves one like it's not going to be pretty like we are always hunting for a place to charge our phone or our airpods or whatever and this just makes it all centralized and has a bajillion cables they also have things besides just iPhone cables they have like USB-C and like Samsung compatible things so it's not just for Apple products so it's handy that it has a spot for all phones tablets devices like that and then a spot for AirPods and for also an Apple watch if that's something you have next up we have a jewelry tree super random category it is throwing me off that all of these are just so random I guess this should be in the bathroom category oh well we're here we're talking about it I used to have all my makeup in these drawers and this is not a good storage solution for your jewelry it slides all over the place it's a hot mess do not recommend these kinds of drawers for jewelry organization but I do love this jewelry tree because it displays everything stops anything from being tangled and it has spots for bracelets necklaces and earrings it has those little holes that you can stick your posts through so it has space for basically your entire jewelry collection unless you're like my mom shout out to my mom who's watching this video right now she has a very large collection of jewelry whereas I have a pretty modest collection so if you have a lot of jewelry it might not store everything you need it to but for me it was more than enough and plenty of room to grow in the future and met all of my needs I got one more baby item to show with you guys and it's diaper caddies there's actually two different kinds I'll have them linked down below but these have been more handy than I could have imagined like when I got these as baby shower gifts I was like I think they might be more novelty than functional but for us they have been purely functional I kept this white one in our bedside nursery and I kept the obvious diapers wipes change of clothes, all of that stuff in this. And just having something simple that's easy to carry around and keep all of your necessities in one place is just one less thing that you have to worry or think about when you are in the fourth trimester just after having a baby and your life is a hot mess disaster. So this has been super helpful, more than I could have even imagined. And we are still using them to this day and our baby is about five months old. So like I said, the white one we used up in our bedside nursery and the gray one, I'm looking at it right now while I'm filming this voiceover it's at our downstairs little changing spot and it's got just the basics like wipes diapers burp cloth just those few things and these have just been so helpful and handy so if you have a baby coming in the future or you already have a newborn with you right now these are very very handy and I 10 out of 10 would recommend investing in a couple of them also a quick little self promo I do have an entire video on all of my newborn must-haves so if you are a first-time mom or a soon-to-be mom definitely check that video out for everything we have loved having for our baby girl last category is pretty specific it's for our garage slash home gym we love having this yoga mat holder and it holds yoga mats it holds foam rollers it holds resistance bands it's kind of an all-in-one organizer and it's really great to just keep things off the ground especially if you have a setup like us where you have a gym in the garage or somewhere that's not totally clean and dust free all the time just picking things up off the floor is super handy and a great way to keep things organized in this space another organizer that we have is really specific like I don't even use this organizer that much it's mostly for my husband but I know a lot of you guys are married watching this video and you might have husbands into the same kind of things and Christian has been really into resistance bands for mobility training and all other kinds of physical things that are way beyond what I understand about working out and so he has a ton of resistance bands and this little organizer is a great way to keep them all in one spot and not tangled on the floor or a hot mess all over the place it's really straightforward and easy to keep the gym area clean now my last item is pretty universal not gym specific and it's just a basic mop and broom holder 
We could use this inside our house in our little cleaning closet, but basically you can just attach this to the wall and stick your mops in there, any dust pans, brooms. It will hold and grip any long handles that are like on a mop or a broom. And then it also has these hooks that can pull down to hang any dusters or any other random things you have, an umbrella maybe. And it's just really handy and really versatile and something that'll just keep more things off the floor. But that is it for my Amazon favorites. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Drop a comment down below if I'm missing any Amazon organization must-haves, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Possibly you're